Daniel, Michael, place like that. Let's see here. Hold on a sec. Let's keep going with the Wild Rags Records spinning then. Let's do that. I got a couple. I mean, of course, I'm just, uh, I'm a gigantic Impetigo fan. Really, really big Impetigo fan. So, we got the Faceless, Horror of the Zombies. Fucking Wild Rags Records, eh? Well, let's put, uh, let's put, what do we got here? Let's put some Death Courier on. There's some uh, there's some wild rags also some old wild rags. Yeah, what else? 
and this other one too. It's not the same crucifier as uh, as Kaz Grant, and uh, but the other crucifier I think was on Kaz. If you're listening, anywhere in there. Uh, this is a different crucifier though. It's not a it's not the, it's not a good crucifier. Pictures of heaven, eh? Yeah, it's okay. But it's these Impetagos, man. Those are my eyes. Those are my eyes. Wild rags. So fucking good. Cool, man. That was good times. Uh, I want to give a nice shout out to uh, the boys in Cemetery Filth. They got a new album that just came out, too. You'll notice I have to crouch a little lower because I brought a chair this time. I want to stand up. I, want to st I, I, I don't want to stand up, so I'm going to try to sit down. And... Let's, let's do this. <laughs> but uh, yes, the sem this I got this uh, the Cemetery Filth Church of Disgust split when they were doing a little tour. It's cool. It's a, it's a song. Song each. There should be more, but it's a song each. Cool, green. But yeah, Cemetery Filth, and they just got a new album that just came out on uh, Unspeakable Acts Records. There. So, uh, fucking cheers, cheers to those guys. Fucking Cemetery Filth, eh? cool is on the topic of death career uh they've been going ever since they've been uh they've never really stopped and they have actually a new album coming out on transcending obscurity and pretty much if you're fans of like the chasm and coffin texts and that kind of vein of death metal then the new death career is Tape. Did I already lose the tape? I did. Alright, so... Let's do this. Still getting used to this tape player. It's one of those that just it plays both sides, but I kind of forget. I don't really know which way is the way. So it's all good though. Because you like Church of Dis Church of Disgust and uh, Cemetery Filth. Good dudes. Good fucking dudes. <laughs> Yeah. How did my wife's birthday go? Well, the kids came over and uh, she had to get up and go to work for 5.30 in the morning. So, other than that, we went for a huge cruise. Went for a big cruise. Uh, I live in Nat. I live in the Niagara region of Ontario, Canada. So, pretty much born and raised Niagara Falls, St. Catharines. Niagara Falls right on the border. Niagara Falls, New York. Buffalo. Rochester. Tonawanda. Lackawanna. All that jazz. So, uh, it's cool around here because literally I live in St. Catharines right now, but for us, a half hour drive out to Port Colburn, which is a, it's by the lake, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, Ontario. Uh, it's cottage country. So literally, get in a car, roll the windows down, because it was beautiful yesterday, and uh, we just went for a boot, and uh, it, 
was it was a nice healthy boot. We need you, you, you need that reboot right now too of like nature. You need to like you need to take your socks off, your shoes, your socks, and just put your feet in the mud, reconnect, right? That's what you gotta do sometimes, right? So we went, uh, there's a huge quarry that's out in Port Colburn there, and there's a huge pathway all the way around it, and so we just took a boot and went around, and yeah, a few hour cruise, it was nice, it was nice. Uh, and then yeah, came back, cooked supper for everybody, had a birthday, and then went to bed. <laughs> Because she's working all day too. She still works. She's an essential, so she's still killing it. And uh, proud of her. Holy shit! But she 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 made it to forty. She made it to the forties. She's with us now. I'm forty five myself. So cheers, cheers, Leslie. Happy birthday. Happy freaking birthday. Eh? Anyways. Just sippity dipping. Seems like I drink a lot. I actually don't drink a lot. Um, I like to have a few beverages, but I don't have a lot of beverages. Just enough. It's just enough. Anyways, so hey, welcome everybody. What time we got? It's about quarter two, and I'm gonna call a friend. Let's call a friend, indeed, the friend is coming, they got weed, they got weed. Let's do this. This is Chris, and he's from the band in Satanity. I believe they are residing in Tampa now. Oh, so he's calling me. All right, hold on. There we are. Hold on, hold on. Let me turn the volume up here. Oh, hold on. I do this every time. There it is. Hello, hello. Yes, go. Hey. Well, there it is. Pretty good, man. What's happening with you? Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Cheers to that, eh? If you're having a if you're having a drink. Yeah, I'm almost out there, mate. <laughs> you got to do that once in a while. Yeah, I hear you. Totally. So, uh, explain who you are and uh, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm Chris Weidel, bass player, singer of Vince Academy, down here in Tampa, Florida. Hanging out with you. Right on. And you you won't you you weren't always from Tampa. No, we were from Philadelphia. We started there. Right on, right Came on. Down here about five years ago. All right. So why did you make the jump then? Uh, Philly. Uh, it's got tired of being a Philly. <laughs> what? Well, what is that nicer weather? Got the game on doing that uh, that winter anymore? Right. Yeah. Totally. Uh. So when? So when did you make that jump? Uh, in two thousand fourteen. Oh. Okay. So recently. Yeah. Oh shit! Um, so you are in this band in Satanity, and how long has this band been around for now? Uh, we we started in 1992 in the summer. Okay, all right. Yeah, we've been we've been around for quite some time. Right on. Is it? It's always been in Satanity the whole time. Yes, the whole time. Totally. Okay, so you started putting out some demos. Um, what happened from there? Let's 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 let let's do the history. Let's let's get into this. Well, um, when the band first started, I wasn't a part of it yet. They had put out two demos, and by the, when they were just recording the third one, they uh, replaced their bass player with myself. And then from that from that demo, we put out was Unholy is Rising, and we submitted it to some labels, and that's when we got picked up from Unisound Universal uh, International. I mean from Greece, and they put out our, our full-length Divine Composition. Okay. Well and then. And then, uh, from there, uh, we were there for a year, and then uh, there was all kind of things happen with them that they that pretty much dissolved, so we ended up putting her out our own split with Immortal Suffering from New York, the uh, Avengers from Beyond the Grave release. Okay, yeah. And then uh, I parted ways with them for a little while, and 
the band went through a lot of members, and then it, and then when I came back, I pretty much had to get all new members because everybody else kind of retired, and I took it over from that in 2001. Okay, all right. Um, so, do you still play the older stuff too? Yes, yes, we do. You play, you play it all. Yeah, well, we're trying to, we're trying to even bring back some of the older demo stuff that we haven't played in decades. Right. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, but once we got, once I got a uh, lineup back together, we put out a uh, real small EP with a couple of demos uh, from the older demo songs we put out. That was the Blackstone EP. Okay. And then we went out and we actually toured the U.S. that time finally, and uh, that was about two and a half weeks. We went out then. And then when we came back, we started writing our next EP, which was The Day God Died. It was, came out a couple years later uh, in 2010. And then shortly after that, we went to Europe for two weeks with Blood Soaked. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that, that was a fun. That, that was, we did that right before we moved to Florida. And pretty much after we got back, we moved to Florida. You just figured just you needed that jump, you want to keep the band going, was that it? Kinda of, cause that's where shit happens, right? Yeah, I mean I mean I thought when I came back and then the, the band wasn't really doing much, I, I just thought the songs were too good not just to let go and not keep playing them. And then I mean, people liked the band so much and I enjoyed playing them, I wanted to keep going so when I talked to Mark, the original singer who started the band, he uh, you know, we talked, he was happy about it, and he signed everything over, and I just went from there. Sweet. So the original singer is in the band now, is what you're saying? No, 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 no. He, he left I, right after I came back. Like the no. band was pretty much almost dissolved by that point. So I said, well, I, I, it would be a shame for the band to go away yep. since everybody liked the songs so much, and they were, they're, I mean, they're really good songs. Everybody back then who wrote them, and I mean, they're still good to this day. And people want to hear them, so I, I, I said, but that just let me take it and go with it, and then so everybody can keep hearing these songs live, and then I'll just make the band grow from there. And that's what we've been trying to do it since then. Right, right, right. So you've been going hard. Yeah, trying to. Yeah. Totally, but you but you jump around from label to label to label too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to find uh, something solid when we're looking for it. Right, and so. You guys, oh, my, my, my voice just cracked. That's cool. Haven't had that in a while. <laughs> uh, so you guys now have an album coming out soon. Yes, uh, we recorded it last year, and uh, we were trying to shop it around uh, almost a whole year now, finally. But it, it's finally going to come out. It's called the, the Hymns of the Gods Before. It has a couple of songs we previously recorded on on the uh, Upon the Ugly Throne EP. But we had more songs that we were going to put on that, but we started just making an EP out of it. So we wrote, we added, once we had left over, and we wrote more, and then now it's a full one. And we were recording it. It came out amazing. Right, right, yeah. I haven't I haven't heard it yet myself, Craig. Craig. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, our friends in CDN Records are, is putting it out. Yes, yes. I talked to Craig, and... Everything sounded great. Uh, good guy to talk to, and uh, we're looking forward to working with him. Totally, because he's just an old school guy, just like us. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what we got to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. We got to stick together, right? Yeah, the old school's the best way. <laughs> so, you grew up in Philly, Pennsylvania, yes. right? Um, yes. Were you, were you hanging out with the scene back in the day, too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was in another band while well, Insectani was going. That's how we met. And uh, we played up in G. Wilkers up in New Jersey, right across uh, plenty of times. In Studio One up in North Jersey, uh, the Trox, we played there. So, so we, we've been, uh, I don't know, I don't think how far we were up in New York, but we played a lot of the East Coast back in the day. Sweet, sweet. Um, so, oh shit, I just forgot my question. <laughs> uh, what was the first death metal show that you went to then? First one I went to? Uh, local or like regular? You, right the first death metal concert. Man, try, that's, that's really hard to remember. I that stuff. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think we had a lot of them in the garage back then, you know? <laughs> right, 
Yeah, yeah, you had your own, right? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I mean, probably uh, vaccine suffocation and diabetes back back then, and uh, up there at the Stone Pony, and at uh, Willikers as well. Yeah, Willikers had all the shows, eh? Yeah, I see everybody there. Bull Thrower, Carcass, Death, Sepultura. That was that was some great times back then. Right. Well, and then you always had Goraphobia playing all the time. Incan yeah. Incantation was playing all the time, right? Deceased. Corpus, uh, what, Corpus Rodas is around there? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Actually, I have uh, I got the 7-inch somewhere. That's cool. That's cool. Right on, right on. So what gives you this drive and this passion to want to play this extreme music? Like, what, what is it about this music? I just I just enjoy it. I just think it, it just gives you so much. There's so much emotion behind it. You know, it's it's just the way to create and, and give how you feel about things to other people and how you make other people feel when they hear it. it it's just it's just a good feeling and it's just so powerful and emotional behind it. I enjoy it a lot. Right. It's it's definitely a stress reliever. I mean, I don't have I don't have like a punching bag around or something like <laughs> that. Right. So literally, it like. I'll have a beer and put a, and put an album on or something, and it just there it is, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so crazy because it is such a crazy, insane style of music that, like, it's cool because only a certain amount of people that appreciate it. So then when we do hook up and hang out, we're all just like talking about the same things, like we're best buds and we've been together forever, anyways. Yeah, it definitely is a way to connect with everybody. Yeah, totally. It's a great connection because I mean, it's it, it's almost an honest connection because if if I meet somebody else who's who, who starts bringing up like, oh yeah, I like Broken Hope and Deranged and all this other band, you're like, okay, bud, like who are you, man? Let's hang out. Let's <laughs> let's 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 let's, let's have a yeah. beer. <laughs> yeah, you, you just met the person and you're in there talking a couple hours about everything. Honestly, man. Honestly. So so you've been playing bass for quite a while. Yes. Well, since I was 13. <laughs> oh, shit. So, <laughs> were you in bands before then, too? Yeah, yeah, I was in a couple. Uh, my band I was in before Insect Tag was called Inhumanity. It was just, it wasn't then had a lot of grinds. It was more like obituary style death metal, you know? Sweet. Based. And then before that, I was in a couple of hardcore bands. Right on. Yeah, so, yeah. I did some punk, too, man. I love it. I love playing punk rock and shit. But that was a lot of fun, too. I enjoyed it. Yeah, totally. Well, because I ended up, um, yeah, like last night with Lee Harrison and just talking about how fun it would be to play uh, World Downfall, right? Oh, yeah. Like that oh, album. Nice. Like, yeah, right? I <laughs> think it's just the grooviest and coolest uh, like album to play, right? Um, so what, what do you draw your styles from then? What do you listen to the most to get this in Satanity sound? Oh, it, it's a uh, it's evolved over the years. I mean, my influences back then were mostly like Gore Guts, Bolt Thrower, you know, a lot of a lot of thrash influence. But now, I, I mean, I, I, so many bands come out that I that I enjoy listening to, like Duff the Gore, Behemoth, stuff like you know, Dima Bluber. I I, I I try to put put all those together. Right. You know, like what I was into before, and what I'm into now, and try to. No, they don't influence me. Every all that influences me now. Yeah, totally, totally. So, how long has this incarnation of this band been together? Uh, almost two years now. All right, so you guys are turning into a pretty solid, solid, solid click now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we, we get together still, and uh, with all this going on, we don't we haven't got together lately. But uh, we we've been writing continuously. Right, right on, right on. Well, that's what you got. Well, especially now, we got all this fucking time on our hands. Yeah. Holy oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I even know when this is going to end. Hopefully, uh, not, not too much longer. It'd be great. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I mean, we, we were planning to go out this year and doing some touring, but we didn't even get a chance to even start trying to talk to anybody about booking when everything started getting closed. Oh, my gosh. So you do plan on coming out then? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're itching to get out. We've been sitting around for a year just waiting to put the album out because we didn't want to play out too much without nothing to support. Of course. So uh, now since we've got something to have out, then we're really looking to get out now. 
Totally. So who's doing the artwork for this new album? What, what's the new album called? Hymns of the Gods Before. Hymns from the Gods Before, yeah. So who's doing the, who, the album cover? What's up with that? Uh, yeah, uh, I just happened to go uh, looking for uh, ideas online, and I ran past this guy. He, he lives in China. His name's, uh, I, I don't even know if I can pronounce it right, but I'll try. <laughs> it's uh, Guan Yang. Yang. He's, uh, he's really good. I mean, he, 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 he's already working on a couple other projects for us already that I can't wait to, to show, but he's totally worth it. I, I mean, if you need it, want to hear any of his stuff, I can send it to you. Wow. He's like right. some, Right on. I've noticed. I've noticed an influx of like just really cool artists coming from out there. Yeah. Right. It, it's some really good stuff going on that side. But... Right. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Uh, right on. So when is the album coming out? That uh, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks. I, I still gotta talk it over with Greg and see what he wants to have it out. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Ask Chris if he saw the new lyric video for In Satan. Have you seen the new lyric video yet? Yes, yes, and so did uh, a few of the other guys already too. And it looks uh, it looks good. We we're very happy with it. Right on, right on. So, so yeah. So now you have a. Have you ever been signed to a Canadian label before? No, no, this has been the first time. Yeah, hey. <laughs> We definitely want to get back. We played up there a few times uh, a while ago, probably like 2007. We definitely want to get back up there again. Yeah, man. Well, and yeah, like if you can come through Buffalo and Toronto or something like that, or at least like Oshawa or Montreal or whatever. Hell yeah, man. Right on, right on. So you guys are obviously constantly writing riffs. Are you the riff master in the band? Uh, me and Scott pretty much just get together and write. Like we we uh we, we have plenty of material sitting around right now, ready to go. We're we're uh we're almost ready to record another album already. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I said we've been sitting around for a year so right now. Right. We can do something with this album, so we decided to write. Wow! Right on! Right on! Um, so what, what, what have been some of your favorite shows that you've done so far? That we've done so far? Uh, well, let's see. Two years ago, we did the Lost Vegas Death Fest. That was nice. Oh, yes. Yes. With Vader, Vader headlining out there that, 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 that year. That was, that was a great show. Right on. And, uh, shortly after that, we played with DSI down here. That was good, too. That was a, that was a, that was a good show. Yeah, it's usually a pretty good show with DSI, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Those, <laughs> and, those guys are really good. They're, they're really good guys. And it's a good pairing, too, because it's like black metal, death metal. Yes. Is that what you're kind of, that's that's what you've all, that's what the band's always kind of been, right? Right? Uh, yeah, it was more straight up death metal when we first started, but it, I mean, it, it started really rapidly going into like a black and death metal band, yeah. Right. Yeah. But totally. once one of the, when we got into Mayhem and Emperor and Immortal. When we started listening to that back in the day, it, 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 we, that all got sucked into the influence of the band's writing. Totally. So how many? Um, you or actually, there's a. Um, you guys did a music video for well, just what last year or whatever like that. Yeah, we put it out. It was for uh, Who's Hand and Bomb. We, uh, that came out yeah last year. Well, let's talk about that because that's like a mini horror movie, a little torture horror movie. There. Yeah, that that came out awesome. Uh, we actually that was actually filmed. In two locations, that was uh, they did the whole storyline in Philly with our uh, with a friend who uh, who actually makes horror movies. He did it for us, and then he came. What's down his name? What's his name? Of the rest of us. What's his name? Oh, uh, Michael Mahoney. Michael Mahoney, eh? And he's from the Tampa area. No, no, he's, he lives in Philly. Oh, Philly. Oh, cool. Yeah, he, yeah, he filmed everything. He filmed the whole storyline up there, and then came down here and filmed up the our part down here. Ah, right on, right on. Um, so can we go on, obviously, on YouTube, and is it under, like, the In Satanity, like... Yes, it's on, it's on our, our uh, In Satanity YouTube. Yeah, on the channel there, or whatever like that. That's cool, right on, yeah, right on. Yeah, we're, we're still in the process of adding a lot more material, especially old shows from years ago. We're, we're adding all, we're getting ready to add all that on there. 
Well, we got time on our hands, so it's time to start yeah. si start 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 <laughs> sifting through all the shit you're like putting last on the burger that you're like, okay, I got, <laughs> let's do it all. Yeah, that's all we have to do now. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much content is going to be coming out in the next like couple weeks? It's yeah, gonna, no. it's, crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Right on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be announcing new albums. <laughs> well, that because everybody's writing right now, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so like we're going to have a lot of babies in December and a lot of albums in the summer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So, what kind of um, what kind of equipment do you use? What kind of bass do you use? What kind of amp do you use? Uh, I used to use Ibanez and sound gear, but I switched over to Shepard. Shepard's. I, I really enjoy how they feel, they play. But I still use the Ibanez once in a while, but I really like Shepard's now. And I run through uh, a Harky and a bass head, and I have Vader cabinets. Those things, those things pump out some. So totally, it's awesome. <laughs> right on, right on. Cool, cool. Yeah, we you know we try to give a little information for the tech for the tech guys out there. I don't I, like I play guitar and bass, but I don't really have like equipment or good shit at least anymore. Um, but uh, but yeah, man. Sometimes people just want to know what kind of tones and sounds that you know that you guys get for your albums and everything. Uh, well, we pretty much record everything, and then we let this our uh, our mix guy. He, he messes with all that. He makes our tone for us. I, 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 want, I, like, I like the expert to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just come in and play? Yeah. That's all. <laughs> no, I, I don't like... Bring, uh, get stuff in there, bring amp and stuff, you know, when they get into the mix, and they might have better uh, EQing for us. And I just like that. I like yeah, whatever you tell them. That's what they get paid for. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, so... What else is going on within Satanity other than, you know, all this shit's going on? Um, you want to plan with shows. Is that, was that kind of the next step? Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the main thing that we're going to do soon is we're able to start booking again. Right. And yeah. are, 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 are you the guy in charge of it all? Right now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yes, it is my burden. Yes. <laughs> Well, because it's it, 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 it's a lot of work regardless, right? I mean, you know, everybody wants to be in a band and, you know, they want to play shows and they want to be in magazines and all that shit. But, like, there's a shit ton of work behind all of this just to it's achieve nice. that, right? I mean, you want to sit down and just focus on, you know, writing your riffs so that you can just hone in and sit there. But while you're sitting there trying to think of riffs... You're writing letters or emailing, writing letters, emailing, uh, you know, putting shit in packages, sending stuff away, contacting everybody. When can we tour that? Here's your whiteboard. Here's your calendar. Here's your fucking mailing list. Like, it is a 24-hour job. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're trying to go out for a couple of weeks and then you book one place and then you get a hold of a place that's in a, in a, a line of trouble you want, and they said they can't do that day, they gotta do this day, so you gotta get back to the other person, see if they can switch around, or you'd be zigzagging, and you're, uh, you know, not sleeping while you're out there on the road, because you're driving 18 hours to get to the next place, because you couldn't get it direct where you needed to go, it, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> wow, yeah, so, so what have been uh, some of your horror stories on the road, then? Uh, well, let's see, in 2005, when we were out, we were all cramped in this van, Every tire on it blew out. Not at the same time. We you blow out. We get it fixed. The other side would blow out. We get that one fixed. And another one blew out. It, it was crazy. <laughs> what? How does yeah. that? How does that? That's fucking Twilight Zone. Yeah, and the worst part was out in the desert, out towards Arizona, and all when we're going through there. That and through the Rockies, it happened. It was nuts. <laughs> yeah, in the Rockies. <laughs> Yeah, good for you. That's a good spot there. And then uh, well, it was the last time we were just out when we were uh, out with Nervo Chaos in uh, 15. We were out in L.A. and we were about to go to, no, actually back to Arizona again. The truck just stopped running. It just, we, were driving, we were in the van and we're going down the highway. It just, it just shut off. 
We had no idea what happened. We had we had to call one of our friends that we knew that lived out there to come get our trailer because the tow truck wouldn't tow the van without with the trailer on it. So we had we lost a whole day and a half because a, a wire fell off off the ignition. Oh, that's it. So it was, I, it was, yeah, I know it was crazy. We're like checking the gas, the the, the battery, and then I guess the roads were so bad out there we were hitting pop up. I mean. The highway was terrible. It was crazy. I guess all the all the bump and the jar just knocked it, made it come all the way completely off. It was nuts. We never even thought that that's what it was. We thought yeah. it was something else. You never really think it was the, the initial coil of wire come off. Well, you just don't think it'd be that simple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, that, then that's why you said you're looking you're looking around for gas leaks, uh, busted belts, yeah. like anything, right? Yeah. We were, we, we, we changed we changed the the battery the fuel the fuel pump the, the fuel filter <laughs> he could and it still wouldn't turn over and we just find look at it's like there's supposed to be a wire in there <laughs> so we had to go get that and replace it soon we did it went turn right over <laughs> <laughs> and then you were probably fine for the rest of the time yeah yeah it, it, it ran great after that oh shit well at least you got some new food uh, fuel filters <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we spent all this money replacing all this stuff, and it was like a little wire. <laughs> and you, that's that, that, that's touring for you, right? Yeah. Wow. So why do you like doing you? Why do you like touring? Why do you like doing all that? It's a hassle. It's a hassle, yes, but uh, I just love being in front of people and give them the music that um, they want to hear. I mean, it, it just. Just seeing people out out in front of you enjoying what you're you're doing, it's just, I mean, you know, it's hard to put. I guess you put it in words, but it just it's just a feeling. You just it's just great, you know. And then you meet all these new people, you make new friends, you know. And you just, it's, like I said, it's that big corona that that uh, you know you get just to being around people that have the same the same mentality and. Uh, interest of the music that you're in and you're all enjoying it together it's just, totally you know, something that we can't get anywhere else yeah no totally totally um so new albums coming out on cdn records uh is that craig piping up again craig's always yeah. piping up on air what's he saying so yeah so it's coming out soon and you're super happy with this who is this this is this is chris lytle Yes. Yeah, Chris Lytle from In Satanity. That's why somebody just joined in and was just like, who's this? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's from In Satanity. He's a bass player. He's been in the band for quite a while. You can hey, check us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, totally. So where can we check you out? Can, um, well, maybe, uh, yeah, throw some links up on the comment section. Okay, well, yeah, we're, uh, you can check us out on Spotify, Pandora, iHeart, uh, iTunes, our, our own Facebook, YouTube. But I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll send all that all to your comment section. Sweet, because we all want to try to help and support each other and do what we can and have fun and listen to crazy music together. Yeah, that's what life's about. Yeah, man, because we're all fucked up right now, and uh, this is what this, this is our gateway. Yes. Wow. Yeah, can't wait for these four walls we're stuck in right now. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, man. I was supposed to go for a bike ride today, and uh, I uh, and I ended up doing a video for somebody. So, of course, the day that he wants me to do the stuff is the day that I wanted to go out and do a whole bunch of shit. So nothing against Chris Cloutier for I, I love you because you know you're you're hooking me up, but. Wow, I was, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, man, I was editing. I ended up doing like four and a half hours extra editing today, and I was like, it's nice out, I want to go for a bike ride. Uh, yeah, once, once you get behind the computer, your day's gone. It literally is, because then, then the next thing pops up, you're like, oh, yeah, and then, then, then an email comes in, and you're like, oh, shit, okay. And then you're like, the day's gone, what happened? <laughs> but at least, um, by the time we start this uh, this little show or whatever at 7.30, it's still light out, at least it is here. Um, it's so nice to see that there's still a little bit of sunset going and it's like like quarter after eight. It's fucking awesome. That so, is good. Summer is almost here, thank God. 
<laughs> but you know what the problem is? Everybody's going to go out and hang out and do all this shit while it's nice out. And we're supposed to be inside. Yes. There's going to be a lot of pent up energy when this is over. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Certainly will. Certainly will. Got any last words for everybody? Um, just thanks for having me on. It was good talking to you. And, uh, make sure you, if you want, check us out. Well, we'd love to let you hear us and hopefully you enjoy what we do. And, we're, and we can't wait to get this album that comes out. We want to thank Craig. And we're working with us. We're, we're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, the new album's going to be Hymns of the Gods Before. On CDN and, Records. Yes. On CDN. C D N. Thank you, man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I shake you. your I shake your hand. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking right. See, see, we this this is the kind of shit that keeps our sanity. We 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 still have a little bit left, right? If we can't have this kind of fun, then we're fucked. Pleasure, man. Cheers. Thank you, too. Cheers. Woo! Cool. That was cool. <sighs> What's up, everybody? Ooh, now it's too dark. There we are. Oh yeah, you gotta put on some blue fucking tunes, cause uh, cause yeah, fucking cemetery filth, people. All right, thanks for hanging out. Everybody, be fucking amazing. going on here what's up Ken Mike you fucking guys yeah in satanity it's it's cool too you missed something you washed your ass that's a good thing though right we all have leaky asses Especially when you get older. Uh, the insatanity is cool because uh, I remember first hearing it on first hearing it on uh, Sounds of Death, Sounds of Death magazine, uh, which is now called DOA. I uh, mentioned it before. I got fucking tons of issues again. If you want some SOD magazines, Craig from CDN Records, fucking he has he has tons of issues and they all come with the CD compilations. And that's where I heard In Satanity first. Off their uh oh, what's the album called here? Let's look it up. That's why I have two phones so we can look it up. Yeah, Divine Decomposition. And that early stuff is totally it's death metal. It's it's brutal death metal. It's fucking great. It is fucking great. I like all their shit, man. They've 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 they've, they've got a they've got a good progression to them. So in satanity, that was, oh, it's trying to cut out on me. All right, people, man, stay safe. See, I only had one shot. One shot, one beer. That's it. Cheers, everybody.